There is nothing more commonsensical and beneficial than aligning with the truth, the truth as we know it. It is like the gravity and when we rest on it, we can secure for ourselves sustained mental peace, trust and respect of others, sustained drive for creativity and above all premium pricing that we all crave. On Truth Talks, we present truth masters from various walks of life who have experimented with truth successfully in their day-to-day -day life in the face of accelerating fake news and made-up truth. Let's all get inspired. In today's episode, we have one of the most creative persons who will come on this platform. A poet, a lyricist, a scriptwriter of mega successful films and creator of immortal advertising campaigns for products and public service. Chairman of McCann Erickson, one and only Prasoon Joshi. Interviewing him today is Manish Chukhani, an investment banker, an ace investment guru, a trained vocalist, and a friend of Mr. Joshi. Let us listen to this poetic exchange. Come, join the movement on truthtalks.in. Uh, so thank you Vallabhai for giving me this chance and uh, thank you also Prasoon for agreeing to do this. Uh, for me it's a you know, very exciting prospect to be talking to someone who's been such a you know, dear friend. Uh, but he's someone from whom I've learned a lot. We've discussed so many things on music, lyrics, philosophy, spirituality. Uh, and like you say, truth is you know, in the Indian context, what I see as a number six, he sees as a number nine and we are both truthful. Uh, and it's in that context that we are exploring the uh, most fascinating life of Prasun Joshi today. So, thank you, uh, uh, Manish. Uh, when uh, you mentioned it to me uh, initially, um, my first reaction was that there is uh, something which I would get to know about myself if I, you know, participate uh, with uh, you on this. And so, thank you, Vallabhai. I wish we were doing it in person, but thank you again for inviting me for this. So I'd love to hear, you know, your early years, your influences. I was very intrigued to learn that you went for physics. Uh, while you were very good at writing, you were already writing books and publishing your poems. You had, uh, you know, your own library, which you used to create and give out the books of stories you wrote in your holidays. How did the, you know, transition to physics and then an MBA? I believe you got recruited at campus with Ogilvy. And you found advertising rather than knowing that I'm going to go into advertising when you entered your MBA. Is that is that true? I feel that uh, we have to learn to be comfortable with confusion, the state of confusion. See, because the state of confusion is the liminal space. Liminal space, the space between the sea and the land is the seashore. And in your mind's seashore, the liminal space is the most fertile space. So confusion is the state of mind where you are most fertile. Sure. You're, you're, you're thinking of options, you're thinking of possibilities. And you have to stay in that state. People are in a hurry to come out of it. And I think that is the state when you explore. If you are so sure of yourself, I don't think uh, you will, the truth you are seeking, then there is no seeking. Because yeah. you feel you have found it. I never felt I found it. Even today, I don't feel when you see, you asked me earlier also that, you know, you did physics, you did science. Uh, yes, I'm, I've been a student of science. On one hand, there is spirituality. On another hand, there is science. And uh, people feel that it's like they are two extremes. They are not. Actually, science follows the spirituality in a certain way. Because I can see even later when we used to discuss a lot of your lyrics that where the essence of this comes from, that when Prasun Joshi is writing about nature or Prasun Joshi is writing about patriotism or you're writing about self-discovery, it is something coming from deep within you. Look, uh, the vantage point in life. You think a nadi is उस बहती नदी के अंदर जो तैर रहा है उससे आप पूछिए कि नदी का स्वभाव क्या है व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ द द द रिवर इफ यू आस्क समवन हु इज इन द रिवर विल टेल यू दैट द ये स्विमिंग अगेंस्ट द टाइड द वन हु इज स्विमिंग अगेंस्ट द टाइड इज वेरी मच इनटू द रिवर विल से दैट रिवर इज वेरी एग्रेसिव 
ask someone who is standing on the river bank and trying to meditate with a sakshi bhav what is the river he say it's calm it's quiet same river two realities and it is it is what you experience shapes you or makes you believe the world is see jo world hai is a thought projection of the cosmic mind as we call it right and you are experiencing the it's in bits and pieces that's why anybody jisko bhi abhiman hone lagta hai ki i know the world mujhe lagta hai usko truth kabhi nahi milta because wo neti neti hi hai also wo nahi hai jo aapko jo aapko samajh mein aa gaya wo nahi hai sahi jab tak aapko samajh mein aa raha hai tab tak nahi hai jis din sahi baat hoga us din samajh mein nahi aayega so this is the world i come from manish so so to make the point where someone like me comes from i come from the world of anubhut satya i come from the experiential truth and i can only tell you my truth i can tell you the experience i had i can tell you if i was swimming against the tide and was the river aggressive i cannot tell you about the reality of the someone who is standing on the river bank that's his reality but that could also be the truth i recall us uh, talking that you would attend all these classical music concerts spend late nights and it's in that journey that you met up with uh, shobha mudgal ji uh, and you all started kind of exploring music together which culminated in some music album which even came out and that journey led you to someone approaching you to write a film song which was composed by a very famous uh, you know composer from south and sung by lata ji in your very first outing and i'm sure the boy who left almora going to delhi to study physics would have never imagined this journey and it has happened in a way like the flow of the river and you have gone with the flow is is that uh, the right way to think about it main apne experience se keh sakta hu that again it's nobody else's experience in mine i feel when the opportunity comes it doesn't give you time to prepare after that so whenever my when i take sessions with youngsters in 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 my profession i said i i talk about preparation practice preparedness yeah it is said when preparation meets opportunity we call it luck but without the preparation there would be no opportunity yeah but that time you don't have an uh, time to say abhi main practice karta hu main uske baad i will deliver it you have to be in the state of preparedness wo aap chhalakta hua wo 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 glass mein pani aapka bilkul upar tak issue you should be brimming looking for that one more drop it put se wo chhalak jaye bahar to wo chhalak duniya dekhti hai lekin wo preparedness wo bhara pan us glass ka nahi dekhti to isliye mujhe lagta hai ki wo opportunity jab mili thi usse pehle main itna likhta tha itna likhta tha कि मेरे पास हजारों डायरिया रखी हैं जिस पर मैंने जिसे कहते हैं ना कि बिना किसी ब्रीफ के बिना किसी पर्पस के दैट इज द प्रैक्टिस दैट इज द प्रैक्टिस विच लेटर ऑन मेक्स यू यू नो व्हेन द सॉन्ग केम टू मी आई वाज यू नो यू नो देवर देवर फ्यू डेज गिवन टू मी टू डिलीवर द सॉन्ग एट द टाइम जो लता जी गाना चाहती थी बिकॉज आई एम एज आई टोल्ड यू आई एम नॉट ब्रॉट अप एन फिल्म सॉन्ग सो माई वोकेबुलरी वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट वेरी मच लाइक फिल्मी पोइट्स i've never ever felt with you that despite you having won so many awards that you feel i've arrived in life and i know it all it's always been a quest for more what can i explore more what can i discover more how does that spirit stay alive is it is it born is it something you actively cultivate you know i i don't feel there is anything ultimate maine ek kavita mein ek jagah kaha bhi tha ki hai mujhe sangyan iska bulbula ho srishti mein i know that i am just a bubble in this srishti right hai mujhe right. sangyan iska bulbula hu srishti mein right ek laghu si boond hu main ek shashwat vrishti mein vrishti right. matlab barish ye jo right. shashwat right. barish ho rahi hai right. isme main ek right. choti si boond hu one drop so hai mujhe sangyan iska bulbula hu srishti mein right ek right. laghu si boond hu main ek shashwat vrishti mein hai right. nahi sagar ko pana hai nahi sagar ko pana main nadi sanyast hu आई एम नदी जिसने संन्यास लिया हुआ है मुझे सागर को पाना ही नहीं है राइट आई हैव टू फ्लो 
सो माई नेचर माई स्वभाव माई स्वधर्म और स्वभाव जो भी आप कहते हैं उसे इट इज टू फ्लो एंड आई आई वॉन्ट टू फ्लो एंड एंड प्रोबेबली दैट इज आई शुड टेक क्रेडिट फॉर इट दैट्स वे आई एम बिल्ड दैट्स वे आई एम मेड a second section i wanted to explore with you in in your movie career if i if i see there are some recurring themes which come out very powerfully in your uh, lyrics the first i find is always this theme of exploration and self discovery and it was of course uh, you know very popular in uh, arzi ave we talk about the metaphor of the musk deer finding that the perfume is really in his own navel uh, is it something that the subject has to attract you or you're using the platform of that movie to give expression to these kinds of uh, lyrics because it acts as a trigger point while bringing that emotion which maybe the situation requires so what it does is that it triggers it off i am kahin na kahin to dekhiye uske beej hote there is seeds are there somewhere and uh, i give you an example of a song which uh, many people नो एंड कि तुझे सब है पता है ना माँ वट इट ट्रिगर्ड ऑफ इन माई हेड इज द मेमरी ऑफ माई चाइल्डहुड वैन माई मदर एज यू सेट इज यू वॉज अ लेक्चर एंड वेरी बीन वेरी क्लोज टू माई मदर एंड इज द फर्स्ट टाइम शी हैड टू गो ऑन अ ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम लिविंग मी अ लोन यू नो इन एंड आई आई जस्ट गॉट ट्रांसपोर्टेड बैक टू दैट फीलिंग आई टैप इन टू माई सेल्फ जैसे मैंने कहा कि मैं अनुभूत सत्य को मानता हूँ आई वॉन्ट टू बी ऑनेस्ट टू द ट्रूथ विच इज देयर इन मी इन समवेयर यू नो स्ट्राइक अ कॉर्ड विद इट सो दैट टुक मी ऑन 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 फीलिंग विच वॉज देयर विच वॉज देयर विच विच फाउंड विच फाउंड अ प्लेटफॉर्म इन टर्म्स ऑफ एंड आई वॉज मनीष टू बी ट्रूथफुल आई वॉज नॉट श्योर दैट एवरीबडी फील्स लाइक दिस maybe i felt like that and i did not know when it came out it resonated with everyone and suddenly i felt you know people started writing letters and you no know, i felt like this and it still it's uh, you know the favorite song of so many people and uh, well sometime your truth is you know resonates with everybody <laughs> yeah. so it's both ways right you choose the project and the project chooses you because they need to know something about you to even come to you so you would have given something out to the world which brings those producers or those directors to you there is truth in what you are saying i cannot uh, say that i am so all pervasive that i'll be able to choose the projects uh, and i think uh, i stumbled upon them on uh, some ha- something happens you know i i feel i am the i'm not the wire i am the electricity and uh, don't resist when something wants to flow through me uh, i am just nimitta of that energy so that gives me opportunity to track a bit away now from movies to your ranbhoomi which was advertising something like advertising mm. came i came across where uh, you know you felt that there is a professional atmosphere where people actually pay you for your ideas and your stories and your short stories and your so i felt mm. uh, that's something which i should sort of explore and it so happened that uh, you know there were takers for me in that profession so you know uh, the clients and brands started thinking that uh, yeah this person can probably build a brand and connect with people but it's often said prasoon that at a young age you need a you know good mentor who recognizes that and kind of in a way allows you to flower as well because we hear so many stories of good talent which is pressed yeah, i was fortunate that you know i um, met many uh, you know and also worked in a multinational i traveled around the world uh, that's the time i realized there is something called cultural eye and something called organisms eye now to give you an example if you look at somebody uh, uh, from a distance a, a woman approaching you and with something red on the forehead if you are an indian you immediately think that she is a married woman has got sindoor but if you do not have the knowledge of this culture you think this is woman who has got wounded has got something on her head <laughs> sure. sure so in the absence of culture your your organism's eye will kick in if your sure. cultural eye does not connect so i realize that ideas sure. have to be thought through these filters in a context naturally right. and if the context is not there 
then you have to connect to the hum to the, to the species you know like like a jurassic park will connect with everybody around the world that's why when you say that big film we are making you 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 think of something which will connect and cut across cultures but advertising in that sense needs to be a lot more nuanced than you know merely just stating the obvious and in that sense when you take it from that nuanced view to what is the limit of how shall i say enhance the truth advertising doesn't hide behind anything and it clearly tells you i am an ad and i'm expecting you to try me out there is a there is a transparency to that that i am an ad with ad and piece of ad i am going to use hyperbole so when a when a chewing gum which has got a baking soda in it and it brightens up your teeth aisa to koi nahi samjhega ki mere daant bulb ho jayenge sure <laughs> true so just an exaggeration to entertain you and to make a point and stay in your mind so that's the reason i thought of a world where everybody is a bulb you know that of course is the realm of you know great advertising is taking the kernel of truth and kind of stretching it to even in a way make you smile about it and make you enjoy it ki dekho kya creativity kiya hai dekhi itna samay nahi hai logon ke paas unko chote se waqt mein aapko apni baat keh diye you know do bacche bhi agar ghar mein hote hain to unme se attention paane ke liye ek bachcha jo hai wo kuch aisi cheez karta hai jo maa baap uski taraf se kya kar rahe ho see it is a human is the same thing brands are human you know i believe uh, you know when somebody comes to me for uh, you know in startup ke bhi log aate hain nay nay and they say ki we want to sort of uh, yeah you did the very famous paytm for example which has become a household word so so when they come i only ask them ki what why did you start this business so of course the obvious reason you want to make money you want to have a successful life but beyond that there must be something which made you start this not something else and i am always looking for that kernel of that truth i tell them to explore the truth do not be uh, dishonest about what you do what exactly you do if you are about gratification talk about gratification if you are about suddenly don't try to become altruistic and uh, suddenly turn holier than thou you are you are fulfilling a certain need ya pe run go me we have to be true to our job is hamari duniya mein hum ye kahe ki kuch hi professions hain ya koi kuch hi cheeze hain jo humko zarurat hai hamare ko jitna pani ki zarurat hai utna hi aap kahenge ki yaar samosa bhi mujhe acha lagta hai we we know what is great advertising and what are the right things and i think you've been a paragon of that but we also know there is a underbelly where for example there are surrogate ads or you know people are coming with you know in a way without informing you getting you addicted to whether it's gambling or something else keeping guard on all this as a sro which even we had in our profession how how does this kind of circle up in your mind and what are the sorts of dilemmas you may face or initiatives you take as a leader and a leading voice in the industry see i think it's a constantly evolving society mein kya cheez acceptable hai kya nahi hai ye lagatar evolve hota rehta hai as far as you are in touch with the reality as far as you are constantly i think only that you have to have dialogue about it they can't be one sector sure. thing you said okay this is right or this is wrong sure. your concern for society is that should be at the heart of it because anybody who feels that any businessman who feels uh, ultimately if is not in sync with the the well being of the society uh, eventually that business will die believe me the bigger brands the 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 most consciences they are they are very consciences i have heard so many brands at the time of pandemic who have held back their communication and said that we should be going out and doing and i keep telling them that this is not about saying good is about doing good manish if i tell you how i write an ad or even a song i think of one person one person in my head i am talking to one person yes so that one person if i don't know if i don't know that one person well then i can't so i feel at a global level strategic level ideas level i can contribute but when it comes to craft and pinning down i'm better off being in the country i've been brought up and raised in 
but you've taken this profession forward in a way with a lot of the national campaigns you've been associated with and public service messaging, whether it's Mission Pani or whether it's the polio campaign. If you could just share some of those experiences and what are you exploring and what is the discovery people are making over there as well? I am uh, optimistic by nature. I want to look at uh, the, the glass half full kind of uh, sure. you know, approach. And I feel that, you know, uh, sometimes I feel that uh, you have heard about, uh, I've already quoted about the Solomon Island. We gave this example in Tare Zamipa yes. also. Where yes. the yes. practice is that if they want to bring a tree down, to a tree down, they abuse the tree. They collectively abuse the tree. Or that tree dies because of your negative energy, gradually the tree dies. That's what is you know said about that island. Yeah. If you constantly keep talking about what you don't, if you do it to a child, and you constantly yeah. tell him you, you don't have this, you don't have this, you yeah. can't run like this, you sure. Sure. gradually the child starts feeling sure. that I don't have anything. They will lose confidence. So I feel right. that about a country, about a society, I feel that it's important sure. to keep talking about our strengths. Keep talking about what can be done. What is not there, rather than that, if you talk about what can be done constantly. So whether it's Swachh Bharat Wonderful. was there, you know, um, whether it's, you know, when we talk about uh, we'll have polio free country or right. I have been associated with, with Swachh Bharat ka irada. No, the, the people would, you know, know in the smaller towns when the kuda ki gadi comes, there is a song they play, Swachh Bharat ka irada kar liya aamne. Lot of projects I work on and that is not for nothing but to make sure that I contribute. I'm very encouraged to hear that you are making that effort and you will continue to make that effort in, in that. And so whatever you brand it, see problem Manish today is that before you know yourself, people are in a hurry to brand you. Sure. They want to tell you, I have defined you what you are. I have not yet found what I am. You have found my truth before I have found mine. So, so, so they are in a hurry to, the world is in a hurry to define you and tell you because they get, see the world gets very uncomfortable when suddenly you come up with something which they were unpredictable. You can't be put in a box. Huh. So, yeah, that's right. That's Arif, right. Prasun wrote, Khun chala, kuch kar guzarne ko khun chala. And when I write, It is a different voice. That was more activism. This Absolutely. is like, how can you sure. have an, be an activist and love your country? What is the dichotomy? I don't understand. Right. Yeah, well, it is said the true test of the intelligent mind is to two opposing ideas at the same time. You are seeing it a very narrow lens and you are calling, critiquing the country patriotism, but falling in love with your country, not, I, I, love, I love the land, I love the air I breathe, I love the people I live with, uh, that also is part of me. Uh, yeah. Not only that I want to change, yes, that is also part of me. When I say, abhi, abhi hua, yaki ki aag hai, mujh mein kahi hui subhai, mein jal gaya, suraj ko mein nigal gaya. Now, that's also, the fire is also true. But the barish is also true. Truth. Ek mausam to nahi hota hai na. Man ka bhi ek mausam nahi hota hai. Man ke bhi mausam kahi hote hai. Man mein bhi basant ritu aati hai. Man mein bhi patjhad aata hai. Man mein bhi saavan ki ritu aati hai. Ek human being jo hai, and it was a revolutionary song in a way. But I remember you very excitedly saying how Vajpayee ji had come and hugged you when he, when he heard this line. It was so beautifully expressed. You know, when he heard Suraj ko mein nigal gaya. It's an extraordinary he, expression. He really right? loved that expression. The real light and, and fire is inside me. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it came... He was so, right. abhi Manish aapne pehle bhi kaha tha ki, मैंने लिखा था एक खुशबू आती एक खुशबू आती थी मैं भटकता जाता था रेशमी सी माया थी 
और मैं तकता जाता था जब तेरी गली आया सच तभी नजर आया जब तेरी गली आया सब तभी नजर आया मुझ में ही वो खुशबू थी जिससे तूने मिलवाया अब ये जो है कि मुझ में ही वो खुशबू थी जिससे तूने मिलवाया ये आपने कहा डियर मस मस्क डियर के अंदर खुशबू होती है कस्तूरी कुंडली बसे मृग झूंडे बनवाही ऐसे घटघट राम है दुनिया देखे ना ही ये जो घटघट राम है और कस्तूरी कुंडली बस है ये मेटाफॉर हमको बचपन से शायद कहीं सबकॉन्शियस में है कोई वही सूरज को निकलने की घटना है आपने सुना है कि हनुमान जी जो थे हनुमान जी ने सूरज को निकल लिया था बचपन में यू नो एंड इट इज दो मेटाफर्स विच स्टे इन योर हेड एंड दे प्ले प्ले वेन प्रॉबली यू नीड दम दे कम हैंडी देज यू I truly believe in Advait. I truly believe believe in you know. Today, when we are talking about AI, uh, artificial intelligence, how is AI different? AI can access you and me at the same time, and the rest of the world. Is basically. But what is it? Sure. Sure. If you see spirituality, is the same thing. Sure. You're connected with the source. So if you and me are the same, and we are connected at le- one level, then your knowledge is my knowledge, and my knowledge is your knowledge. and is is part of the two sides of the same coin two sides of the same coin same coin so there is no conflict for me i don't see conflict i only see varied expressions so people see conflict ki yaar aapne ye bhi likha tha aapne bhi ye yahi aapne bhi likha ye kaise hua i don't see conflict i only see this is all coming from one source so how is the conflict where is the conflict does art really reflect society or does art shape society and you have a particular vantage point where you can probably start shaping it a lot more what what is your views or truth on something like this hamare yahan natya shastra mein ek cheez kahi gayi hai which is about rasotpatti dekhi koi cheez art ka koi intent hona zaruri nahi hai aap wahan baithe the wo sun suna raha tha wo moment apne aap mein ek suspended moment and reality और वहां पे एक रस उत्पन्न हुआ आप उस रस में भीग गए दैट मोमेंट इट सेल्फ वॉज आर्ट एंड दैट दैट इज इट एंड दैट कैन ओनली हैपन इफ इट्स अ रिलेशनशिप एंड अ डायलॉग बिटवीन द क्रिएटर एंड जितने तानसेन चाहिए उतने ही कानसेन भी चाहिए रविंद्र नाथ टगोर बिल्ड शांति नहीं कहते एंड ही वॉज ऑफकोर्स लाइक लियोनार दो दिंची मल्टी फैसेटेड कैरेक्टर लाइक यू आर सो डिरेक्शनली what is the next exploration for you if you ask me where i am today i am in a exploration mode and have i found the truth <laughs> you know you don't as i said you are you are you are in a, on a journey to towards your own truth and i think uh, everybody has to find his or her own truth i was reading hajari prasad divedi's uh, book uh, anamas uh, anamdas ka potha in which <coughs> rakhu is one of the saints of one of the rishis of indian and another rishi is telling him the uh, the the great philosophy he saying you know with due respect i want to hear your experience can you tell me what you felt uh, don't tell me what is it tell me what you felt now there is a difference between when you realize it and i think uh, we all should Together. see that where so from your vantage point where are you seeing our society and our country evolving towards because some way that kind of has to converge you know i i, I wrote this in the pandemic time suno kuch der thehar kar suno suno kuch der thehar kar suno kuch kehna chah rahi hai hawa कुछ कहना चाह रही है हवा कुछ सन्नाटे भी बोल रहे कुछ सत्य गगन से उतरे हैं जो बंद द्वार हैं खोल रहे कुछ कहना चाह रही है हवा कुछ सन्नाटे भी बोल रहे कुछ सत्य गगन से उतरे हैं जो बंद द्वार हैं खोल रहे बुनो एक जीवन फिर से बुनो सुनो कुछ दो देर ठहर कर सुनो 
थी कब से मौन सृष्टि सारी मिट्टी की गंध को कहने दो अब मुक्त करो तुम स्वर सारे हर रुके छंद को बहने दो सुनो कुछ देर ठहर कर सुनो वंडरफुल ये मैंने लिखा था दिस इज द रियलाइजेशन विच यू शुड बी हैविंग एंड इफ यू डोंट रियलाइज इन वेयर वी आर गोइंग टूडे आई थिंक वी नीड टू पॉज एंड आई एम अ होपफुल पर्सन इट विल लीड अस टूवर्ड्स इनलाइट एंड पाथ where we would be because eventually i feel the truth wins wo apne aap ko prakat karta hai wo tajalli uski matlab uske revelation hota hai uska so wo the revelation hoga do you think time has come now with computers and ai and we will be advising our children to take up actually what was told to you not to take up is that time going to come i i hope i hope we realize the 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 you know it's not uh, only see the problem is that our, uh, when we think about education we start thinking about vocation and it should not be mixed true right we start thinking about how much money you will make out of it and um, we don't have people uh, you know thinking that what kind of person i'm making there are children facing real crisis today in terms of you know they are getting direction less wo direction less less kyun aati hai kyunki agar aap if you are working if you do not know what towards kis taraf ja raha hu main kyun kaam karta hu wo kyun ka agar answer aapke paas nahi hai then work is an addiction i think the the puri shankar acharya gave a talk at iit right uh, on this very subject if you are not instilling that quest in our children that seeking in our children uh, then they would always be see you have to prepare your children for when you are not there when they are alone with themselves what answers they will have those are the only things that they going to remain with them and they are going to pass on sure. i think that's that's sure. that is very very important that they pass it on that stays uh, and that quest uh, will give birth to creative people so Uh, on that note i don't think we can uh, keep going on although i would have spent the whole night with you but uh, thank you so much you've been so generous with your time and you've shared so deeply from personal experiences and like i said at the beginning i do hope some of your insights some of your inspiration some of your dilemmas come across to people uh, but thank you really you've been very very generous with us thank you again i i would be happy if your audience finds anything interesting in in my journey because i don't think there is uh, it's the only sharing you can do and uh, i hope i've been able to share some of my experiences wonderful thank you again thank you manish thank you again.